so in this video we are going to learn exactly when the sine gets converted into cos cos get converted into sine or when the values are negative and when the values are positive so in earlier video we have learned that if I draw a unit circle that is the circle of unit radius with center at the origin then the coordinates of any point on the perimeter of the circle will actually be cos theta and sin theta where theta is the angle made by the line joining origin to that point with x-axis. So angle we always measure in anti-clockwise direction. So sin always represents y-axis, cos always represents x-axis. When you are measuring angle in plus or minus with the y-axis the sine gets converted into cos and cos gets converted into sine right and in this region the y-axis is positive that means if angle is in this region the value of sine will be positive so all the angles with sine 90 minus theta sine 90 plus theta and sine 180 minus theta all these values are always positive right and since the x coordinate represents cos theta and from this point towards right hand side x is positive and this point towards left hand side x is negative that means cos will be positive if angle is in this region that is theta 90 minus theta 270 plus theta and 360 minus theta for all these values the value of cos theta is always positive and what about tan and cot if I overlap this diagram which was the positive area for sine with the last diagram which was showing the positive area for the cos then these intersection areas here and here in these two areas if angle is there the value of cot and tan will be positive because in this area both sine and cos are positive and in this area both sine and cos are negative so if the angle lies in this area or in this area both tan and cot will be positive and those will be theta 90 minus theta 180 plus theta is again positive 270 minus theta is again positive and all the other values will be negative and if the angle is measured with respect to y-axis that is 90 minus theta 90 plus theta or 270 minus theta and 270 plus theta the cot gets converted into tan and tan gets converted into cot so this was the shortcut how to remember these conversions so that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then